person here, uh, the Perth Glory skipper. Lawrence will roll it out. And here's a chance for Rigby to get moving. Sliding it forward. Sakar. Play it right, don't yep. they? The middle, there's a player free. So far, and a bit of a gap there too. Gets it over the top. Oh, keep An opportunity. Yeah. Mind. yeah. This is the uh, this is the substitute, Sarah Kane. Gets it across. Rigby. Chesky again. It's good work there by Perth Glory. Rigby again. We'll lose that challenge from work. to this season so this is warts in a tussle with uh, rigby Three. Is she on a corner? No. Counter-attacking moments and opportunities that they get. Wellington Phoenix in possession early on. Corner curled in. Dangerous corner. It's an own goal. The technical ability of Deborah and Della Harp. A fantastic delivery. Anyway, at the other end now, they're going to try and create a chance. Not fed by Wynnum. And unfortunately for Wellington, it will just for glory. Charlie, that's classy over the top. Wynnum immediately saw Chloe Knight. Has Charlie inside. And her teammate in Dorber who held, who held the ball up beautifully. And this is... Uh, Fiona Warts. Just looking for some support, but nowhere to go, really. I think they've done a lot of um, recruiting. Canberra who get the win and Perth claim all three points here. That's the way it's going to have to play out. Still lots of time remaining, about 35. Was Kelly Brown went close to scoring against Western Sydney midweek. Win Stadium in Wollongong, the final. Oh, and a chance already touch. for Murray getting her first touch. Got a bit of pace too, Murray, yeah, but uh, stride for stride was uh, a chance for Wurtz, who should try again. Same shoot. angle, but oh, not the. This one is lifted over the top. Hoping for Connors, but just I'm going to go the raw. The one last opportunity in this first half. <laughs> One made in a critical moment. Uh, if she doesn't make that tackle. Three appearances last year for Wanderers. Now plays the seventh of the campaign.
campaign and impressing Alex Aparkas. As soon as I say that, she leaves that pass a bit short on Anton, and Chloe Knight almost took full advantage. The game's starting to open up up a lot at the moment in terms of it's becoming uh, very transitional. I think the key for both sides is to tighten up the six which you want. She's in a central area that protects the goal and she does just a delivery and Hinson's in a great position near post where she can just tuck that ball away. So with that delivery... Release! To... Uh... Left Yans goes wide. Sasaki's clearance is uh, slightly miscued. No a chance on the right hand side. Late challenge by Knott on Anton. Vine and Hooks. It's a good battle. Vine wins out. Now Seamson should clip. He stays on her feet. Early stages as the ball in now towards the back post. Rigby 